that a Meredith Metalworks bloody roof rack? Welcome back to another episode of Get That Bread. It's a super exciting episode. One, because I'm working with Woody again. Hey, guys. <laughs> and two, we literally have a brand new product from Meredith Metalworks. Their brand new roof rack going on. We've got the nav set up underneath an awning because today is terribly hot. Uh, I think we chose the hottest day to do this, but whatever. Pretty impressive bit of kit. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, shouldn't be too hard to put together, I don't think. Couple of hours max. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully only a couple of hours. Um, but pretty much in the kit, you get your actual rack, you get the side walls, you get a wind deflector and you get the rear for it as well. Um, you get all of the hardware that you need too. And I just went to Bunnings this morning and grabbed a bit of Sikaflex to seal off the holes that we're about to drill into the roof, which is a little bit daunting, but we'll give it a crack. One thing we should probably point out is that there's literally no instructions for this at the moment. That's how new it is. And we're kind of just going to make it up as we go. We think we've got it figured out. Um, step one, we're going to put it together first, mock it up on top of the roof, and then start drilling and rib nutting and all the fun stuff. So it's exciting because I can actually film some stuff while Alex does things. All right, so step one, we're just putting the brackets on that will go from the side to the actual roof. And what we've discovered is, so there's a countersunk, countersunk bolt that's gonna go through this way. So this has to be the inside. Don't be like us. The <laughs> Every. Every time. Just the essentials whilst doing things to your car. We need sustenance. <laughs> sustenance. <laughs> ah, the old kennel. So we're just starting to connect the sides to the actual rails and the rails themselves are angled on the edge. So you want to make sure that it's angling to the outside of the vehicle. So your roof rack will be like that. Not the wrong way around. <laughs> uh, where are you up to, Woody? Putting the wind deflectors on. Um, it help if I secure that nut at the back first. So we sort of just put it all together on the ground on the ground and then yeah mocked it up there and shut the thing to smick. So one thing we did have to do is unscrew the antenna. So it literally just unscrews and then it's just got the base sitting in there and it sits on the other side of so we'll be the antenna. The antenna back on to go through this slot. I might just leave it off. What about all your reception? I was listening to the radio anyway. Do you? When was the last time you listened to the radio? If I answer that's not good for my argument. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I haven't... Yeah, nah, Spotify. 24 7 Spotify. Right. We're leaving it off. I mean... What do you need? What do you need, Al? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bit frustrated, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's so hot. It's um, so hot. <laughs> what do you need? I need a good level surface to stand Dude, on. Just stand on the side steps. <laughs> <laughs> I took them off. Aha. That's right. I'll get you something, Woody. Yeah.
whilst Alex is working away up here, thanks Alex, um, I thought I would explain why I got this roof rack. So there's two reasons. First reason is how slim it is. So this is by far the slimmest one I could find on the market. And the second reason is um, I only, I only want to put like a solar panel and maybe some tracks up there and that's it. So I'm not the biggest fan of actually putting a big load. <laughs> not the biggest fan of putting a big load on my road. <laughs> Where I'm not... are you a fan of putting a big load? <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of putting a huge load on a roof. Uh, it just makes me nervous driving around like that. So, um, yeah. So, <laughs> so, super slim line. Like, it's going to line up perfectly when I have the tent on the back as well, which is another reason too. So. so, I'm just marking the holes in the center of the space around the knees. I'm happy with where it's sitting. And we've got to drill holes in the roof. How do you feel about that? Scared. Yeah. Scared. All right, we are literally at the point of no return. So, mocked everything up, had it sitting up there on top of the spaces, marked the space holes. So now I literally just have to drill eight holes in the roof of my vehicle. Alex is way too calm for that to happen. Some of you guys will notice that this is not the same day as the previous footage so some stuff has happened in between last weekend and this weekend with the navs so uh, we were attempting to put the roof rack on so one of the bolts was pretty tight in there and we were trying to bring it back up and out of the rack and it was lifting the spacer up as well and then I realized that coming up attached to the spacer was one of the rib nuts. And upon inspection, when we flared them out, it's actually flared into the putty um, that's up in the roof. So um, I, I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to call it putty, but, um, and yeah, it hasn't actually grabbed on anything. So to be super safe, what we're going to do um, now this isn't part of the kit or anything like that, but you can probably hear Alex in the background um, making a couple of brackets for underneath the roof lining. So we're going to put the bolts through the roof and then underneath just have a bracket that's holding it from underneath and then put a, put a nut on the other side of the bolt. So in that way we'll be 100% confident that this, this thing's not going to go anywhere. So. Um, I did send a message to Casey from Meredith Metalworks and he did explain that um, yeah, you could just chuck it in there and flare it out and it should be fine but um, in our scenario it wasn't so that's probably just something to be aware of is just double check that uh, when you flare out your rib nuts that it's actually catching onto something because um, ours wasn't. But um, I've taken the roof liner out, um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to take that out to tell you the truth. So. Um, if you can avoid it, I would um, recommend it. It's nothing like driving around for a week with eight holes in your roof. That was a bit stressful, but the rain did stay away. Woody, how are you today? It's quite warm. Any thoughts? Um, I don't know, we'll just run a file over these plates, smooth them out, drill some holes, and it should be done in 20 minutes or so. <laughs> 20 minutes max. <laughs> Max, we have this terrible thing where we're like, oh, yeah, this job will take two hours, and then it's like five days later, which exhibit A and exhibit A, just doing a thousand times more things. But anyway, 
So you guys can see how close it is to the airbag unit itself. Um, I'll try and zoom in as close as I can, but pretty much, I don't know if this will help anyone when they're trying to do the install, but uh, we put a bit of tape around the end of the drill bit at 11 mil, just to make sure it wasn't gonna go too close to the airbag unit itself. It's pretty close, but yeah, so 11 mil was more than enough to, to break through the actual steel. So it turns out the other day we didn't actually film an outro, but there's the rack all up there, nice and sturdy. We actually filmed that a couple of weeks back. Massive thanks to Woody for helping out and taking time away from his family to help a mate. So big thank you to Casey as well from Meredith Metalworks. He literally replied to a message at nine o'clock on a Saturday night. So thank you for the bit of guidance and everything whilst we um, put the, the rack on the roof. And a big thank you to everyone who's watching as well. If you're not subscribed, uh, hit that subscribe button there's more to come for the nav but otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one peace what are those <laughs> is it on thread locker on <laughs> <laughs>